welcome back to my channel so today's video is a speed reviews video so if you want to see out of what I am thinking of or what the products that I have been using recently then make sure you keep watching and if you like today's video don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out and if you're new don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos all right let's jump in so today I've got some products here now I did have you guys choose out the products for me to try for this month um, or the last like six to eight weeks uh, three of the items I haven't gotten around to trying yet um, but the rest I do have in here so I'm gonna go through these and let you guys know what I think of them now that I have tried them for an extended period of time um, so yeah, let's jump in. So let's do the palettes first. So first I have the Luna Beauty Moon Prism uh, Blush Palette. So this has six blushes in it. So I am on the fence about this palette. Um, I do like it, but the deeper shades are too deep for me, yes. Um, the lighter shades, this one here barely shows up. It's quite light. Um, this one here, which is the one that I would have reached for the most, is so shiny that it's almost like a highlighter. Um, and the two middle ones, are so, they're okay-ish, but they're very powdery, so it's very hard to make them look like seamless. And also because it's in a palette, I don't tend to reach for a palette. I tend to reach for just one single blush. So yes, I like it, but no, it's not my favorite. Um, if I was to repurchase it again, I wouldn't because I know that I prefer a single um, blush versus a palette, but it is very, very pretty. Um, the formula is, yeah, it's all right. It's just quite powdery. Next up is the Luna Beauty Eternal Eclipse Palette. So I did a few eyeshadow looks with this. Um, if I've still got some photos, I'll add them on the screen for you guys. Um, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, I have used this, I think, eight times now. I think I've done eight looks. I think I filmed like four of them or something. Um, and I think I did two in live. And then I think the other two was just me playing around at home. And I haven't filmed anything with them. Um, so, I do. I like the formula of the shimmers. Um, I mean, the mattes are quite nice as well. It's just a lot of kickback and a lot of fallout. So you definitely have to do your eyes prior to doing your base of your face. Um, and you have to be careful because, yeah, there's so much kickback. I'm not sure if you're able to see, but you can see, like, this brown here. That's one of the most recent looks I've done. And, like, the silver. There's still heaps sitting around the pans in the palette. Yeah, they're just, they're so powdery. And I'm not used to that anymore. I'm used to um, my COA palette, which doesn't have a lot of kickback. It's nice. It's definitely not a color story that I would actually lean towards. Um, pretty much you can only do the same looks over and over again. It's a lot of like dark, like grungy looks, like silver, blue and browns, like neutrals. And I'm more of a pop of color person. So yeah, it's definitely not one that I would purchase um, myself, but I am happy to have it in my collection. I definitely will use it. Um, it's just not going to be like a favor. It's going to be something that I would reach for if I'm looking for a blue look or just a neutral look. The last palette is my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lua palette. Now I've only done two or three looks with this so far, but I absolutely love it already. So this is absolutely stunning. I love all of these colors. Um, I think I've done a purple look, a pink look, and like an aqua look, um, the one I did for the nails. And yeah, I love this palette. I love Blend Bunny formula. It's my number two formula in my collection. She hasn't disappointed yet again. Absolutely amazing. The mattes blend seamlessly. They look stunning. They're very pigmented. Um, there's not a lot of kickback in the pan. There's not any fallout on your face. And the shimmers are just like blinding bright shimmers. Her shimmers are absolutely amazing. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And if this goes off or I run out of this, I definitely would repurchase this one because um, it's definitely right up my alley. 
Uh, it's like colors that I do like. And yeah, the shimmer and formula is definitely well worth the money. Next up is from Fenty Beauty. And this is the Gloss Bomb in Fuchsia Flex. So this was in last year's Christmas um, little bundle. And I hadn't tried it until now. Um, I absolutely adore this. It is absolutely amazing. The color of this is stunning. Now, I already knew that I loved the formula. Um, I have a, a lot of the gloss bombs already, but look at that color. It is so pretty. Um, exactly the color that I like. I mean, look at my hair. So yeah, I am so excited about that gloss bomb and I love that I have it in my collection now. Next up is the NYX Marshmallow Primer and I actually really love this as well. Now, I'm not normally a fan of a lot of primers. Um, I think I've got one, two, three, four primers maybe that I have in my collection. The rest have all been decluttered because I, yeah, I really struggle with primers. But this one, I'm happy to have this in my collection. It's absolutely amazing. It really like minimizes my pores around my nose um, and it's sort of like a mattifying primer. It smells amazing, like marshmallows. It is delicious. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just helps my makeup last. Um, doesn't feel like too tacky on the skin or anything. So yeah, I really like this and really happy to have this in my collection now. Next up is from MCO Beauty and it is the Instant Contour Cream Bronzer. Now I have used this a handful of times now. Um, I have used it before I set my face and I have used it after I set my face. And surprisingly, if you're careful, you don't pull up the foundation underneath it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I've got the shade light medium here. Um, it definitely blends like seamlessly. It looks really nice. I actually also have the Charlotte Tilbury uh, bronzer and I prefer this over the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, it's yeah, a lot nicer, a lot easier to use. Um, blends like yeah seamlessly so yeah i'm happy to have this in my collection also i do think this is this suits better for like a no makeup makeup day when i'm not doing like full glam it does wear off eventually so i don't think i would wear it on like a summer day or if i'm yeah doing full glam because i want it to still be there at the end of the day um and looking good so yeah, that's my only downside, but I am happy to have this in my collection. It is really cheap and yeah, it's very, very seamless and easy to use. Uh, next up is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now I have the shade Snow, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm not sure if you can get a lighter colour than what I have, um, because this is a really, really nice concealer. Um, it is definitely a full coverage is really really pretty my only downside is it has a bit of like a yellow tone so i wish i could get a shade that's a little bit lighter i'm not sure if you can or not i haven't actually looked it up um but normally i would buy the lightest shade possible so that's why i'm assuming that maybe i can't get it so yeah it is a super coverage absolutely love it um blends really really nicely sets really nicely doesn't crease and yeah as i said full coverage which is the kind of um concealer that i like it hides all my dark circles um and doesn't really settle into my crease lines underneath my eyes either and the lucky last product that i've got here is the dior face and body backstage foundation this is in the shade 1cr one cool rosy now i spent like a month trying this um i have tried it every single way that you could imagine and i could not get this foundation to work so i had to look up the reviews to see what i was doing wrong because yeah i can't get this to work for me at all so in the reviews a lot of the people said that you just can't wear a primer or anything underneath no moisturizer nothing so i did that i washed my face um had nothing on no moisturizer no sunscreen nothing like that put this on and it worked finally so the only way that i have been able to get this to work is with yeah nothing on my base already it's literally just this and it has the slightest coverage possible um doesn't cover basically anything um so I really don't like it. Time I used this, I broke out. 
So I have stopped using this now and my breakouts are finally starting to go away. Now I'm not someone that has very big like breakouts, like a breakout for me is like two pimples. So using this, I was having like five to seven pimples at a time pop up on my face. I stopped using this and I have gotten rid of all of my breakouts, all of the pimples now. So I think, yeah, this, this was the culprit because everything else I have still used and none of that broke me up. Um, so I am going to actually pass this on to uh, James and see if he can use it. Um, because yeah, I did not like it. One, had no coverage. Two, you can't put anything under it. Three, it broke me out. Four, it is also like water. So it, it's so, so thin and this is the end. So you like put it on the back of your hand or onto the brush or the sponge um, and then put it on your face. But it is, it's like water. So I really don't like this. I don't think it's worth the $70. I would definitely not repurchase it. Now I do know that apparently there is or sorry, two formulas. There was an old formula and a new formula. So I can't work out which one I have, whether it's the older formula or the newer formula. I don't know. Um, if anybody knows how to tell the difference, please let me know. One last comment. This stinks. It is absolutely horrible. It is like a chemical, perfumey, old lady smell. Not a nice smell. It is horrible. Everybody has a different skin type. So even though it doesn't work for me, it may work for someone else and other people may love it. And that's fine. You're allowed your own opinion on it. It just is horrible on me. And I wouldn't recommend it to anyone because I, I haven't been able to get it to work for me nicely. So I wouldn't want someone saying it doesn't work when I, I can't get it to work for myself. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's my comments on that. So that is everything that I have been trying recently. Now there was three items that you guys picked out that I haven't had a chance to really put to the test yet. So they will be in next speed review. Um, I'll try and get at least one more up before the end of the year. I normally like to try products for a good six to eight weeks um, just so I can really give you my honest reviews. Um, and because I don't do makeup every single day, you know, it's more like one to two times a week, um, sometimes more, but I really want to like make sure that I've used them for at least a good five plus times for each item before I tell you my honest reviews. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Bye!